KT Action 7 News. And we continue to ask questions about why lapel video from an Albuquerque police officer involved in a deadly shooting does not exist. Officer Jeremy Deer shot and killed Mary Hawks in late April. Reporter Megan Cruz sat down with one of the department's deputy chiefs to get answers. She joins us live with those new details. Doug and Shelley, this is the report we broke down for viewers yesterday. In it, Taser says that after reviewing Deer's camera, it can't tell why it didn't record any video. It's either because Deer didn't turn off or did turn off the camera or a cable disconnected. Well, today I found out a lot more about the camera Deer was wearing. They are actually meant to break away. Um, they're not meant to, to hold. Deputy Chief William Roseman is talking about this cable. It's part of an officer's lapel camera, and it connects the camera to the battery. Roseman says the flimsy design is to protect officers. The way that the company developed those uh, cables is that if someone was to take it and wrap it around your neck, that the cable would actually break. This is how a taser camera is commonly worn. The battery is holstered onto an officer's belt. The cable is then snaked up and around to the camera that sits on an officer's shoulder. There's a lot of focus on this cable because Taser says it may be why Officer Deer didn't have video of when he shot Mary Hawks. Taser released a report comparing Deer's camera on the left with a brand new one on the right. It points out how a clip that held Deer's cable and battery together was missing. Taser can't say if the cable disconnected or if Deer turned off his camera. It did say that during Deer's encounter with Hawks, the camera switched on and off numerous times. You have a monthly inspection that the sergeant performs on the officers, and he's looking to see if the, you, know, you have all your equipment and if everything's cared for. Roseman says he can't say when Deer's camera was last inspected. APD also couldn't say how long Deer's had the camera or if he's ever needed it repaired. Action 7 News obtained Deer's personnel file. According to records, this isn't the first time Deer had no video of an incident. Deer has failed to produce video in two other cases. Is this a coincidence? Right, and I can't get into that because we still have the ongoing investigation. So any of that stuff will be part of that investigation. But according to APD current lapel camera policy. It says you will record the incident in its entirety. Um, and so, and that's bottom line. Then why hasn't Jeremy Deere been punished already? Because you got to understand these investigations take a while. In the meantime, Deere has been reassigned to a desk job. That means he is not patrolling the streets. As for the department's lapel camera policy, police say they will change it with direction from the Department of Justice. Live in downtown Albuquerque, Megan Cruz, KOAT Action 7 News. The department says it will continue to use taser cameras. However, because of Officer Deere's investigation, it's asked the manufacturer for some changes, including how to differentiate when a camera is turned off by its user versus when a cable becomes disconnected. Senate